Thinkific and Teachable are two of the most popular course hosting platforms. But which one is better for you? It really depends on your specific needs. For me, Thinkific is the better platform and the one that I've been using to sell online courses for the last five years. But for you, it may be Teachable. The problem is that both platforms are very similar and have hundreds of features. It would literally take you hours or even days to research, test, and compare all these features to figure out which ones are better for you. Well, I have good news for you. I've researched the heck out of both Thinkific and Teachable and created a very comprehensive comparison tool that will help you make the best possible decision in minutes instead of days. You can make a copy of the tool at rumo.com slash teach versus think. So the way it works is that you're going to rate all the features based on how important are to you and then you're gonna get a recommendation based on your rating because not all features are as important. So the way you're going to do that is you're gonna give a zero to that feature if that feature is not important to you, one, if the feature is important to you, and two, if the feature is crucial, it's a must have feature. And as you keep grading the features, the tool will calculate which tool, whether Teachable or Thinkific, is better for you. Not only that, it will also calculate which tool is better under its category. So let's assume that all the features are equally important to you and we're gonna give them all a one. And we can see Thinkific comes on top, but not in all categories Thinkific comes on top. And this is where you can start gleaning really useful information to help you make an informed decision. We can see that, for example, on sales, on reports and customer support and mobile, Teachable comes on top. And the reason why is because on sales, Teachable has a way more robust affiliate system. On reports, it has more in-depth reports. And on mobile, it offers an iOS app where you can take courses as a student in a native app, right? So you can always go down to any of the features that you're interested in researching further. And what I've done is beside the feature, I've added a link directly to the help documentation that explains how that feature works. That way, if you're not sure what the feature does, you can always research it. So if you wanna research affiliates, you can click there on Teachable or on Thinkific, you can do the same thing and that will take you directly to the documentation for Thinkific, how to use affiliates in this case. Now, the way I've rated the features for each platform is by also using a numbering system, which goes from zero to two as well. And zero means that the feature is not available, one, that the feature is available, and two, that the feature is superior in comparison to the same feature on the other platform. For example, Teachable offers a single page checkout, which is proven to have better conversions. And Thinkific uses a two-step checkout page which forces students to create an account before they can purchase the product. We can see that, for example, the coupon system on Thinkific is superior than on Teachable. And the reason why is because if we go here, I've added a little explanation as to why that feature is better in this case, because Thinkific allows you to set up the number of months a coupon will be applied to a given subscription, and you don't have that capability with Teachable. And now we're going to be able to filter this data to help us glean really useful information. And to do that, I've created a series of filters that are going to show you very specific information. For example, let's say that we want to see which features are free only on Teachable. We'll just click on that and we can see that most of the integrations are free. And on Thinkific, you have to pay for all these integrations. So if you wanna be able to hide courses on Thinkific, you have to pay for that feature. If you want the Sumo integration, you have to pay for that, but it's free on Teachable. Now let's say that we want to see which features are missing on either platform. So let's say what features are missing on Thinkific that are available on Teachable. So for example, Teachable has a blog feature that is not very robust. I mean, you probably wanna use WordPress or Squarespace to have a full-fledged blog, but they do offer a blog. Teachable also offers Apple Pay and Google Pay for your students to be able to purchase the courses, which Thinkific doesn't. It also has a live chat support, which at this moment Thinkific doesn't have. So if you want help instantaneously from Monday to Friday, 
Teachable allows you to connect with them via live chat support. So if this is very important for you, you will give this a two. And that would be taken into consideration to decide which platform you should go for. It also has a native app, but maybe you don't care about that. So that could be a zero. We can also look at the top features that I've marked as superior. And in this case, the single page checkout feature is better on Teachable. That you can generate coupons uh, on bulk automatically from Teachable. And that's a feature that although Thinkify has, is it's not as powerful. And it also, the affiliate program and, and affiliate dashboards are considerably better on Teachable. We can do the same thing for Thinkific. What are the top features? They have a better free plan. The free plan on Thinkific gives you three courses and unlimited students, which is great. You basically can get up and running right away. And the problem with Teachable's free plan is that it only allows you to have 10 students so really it's just enough to give it a try but not to start making real sales because the maximum amount of sales you're going to be able to make is 10 so it's quite limited in comparison to Thinkific we can see that Thinkific quizzes are also superior that the course bundle the ability to create course bundles is also superior on Thinkific the coupon system is superior in Thinkific and for example automated email notifications are also superior on Thinkific because in Thinkific you can customize all these email notifications and they also can be sent when the student joins the school, when the student joins a course and at the end of the course you can send an automatic email to congratulate them because they completed the course, etc. Where it's in Teachable, you have a very limited automated notifications with your students. Right? And I encourage you to play with these filters because it will really help you see what's available on each platform and whether those features are free or not. In essence, to give you an idea, if you're interested in sales and a robust affiliate program is important for you, Teachable is the better option. If you care about design and customization and you care about having more control of branding features, Thinkific is the better option because it has a lot more templates. Their site builder is really powerful in comparison to Teachable that has only a single template, which is customizable, but at the end of the day, you only have one template versus at least 10 templates on Thinkific. The course creation features on Thinkific, they're also a little bit more powerful, specifically because they have surveys and assignments. In terms of integrations, they're pretty similar. Although Teachable, all the integrations are available for free. And in Thinkific, you have to pay for them. Customer support is very similar. The advantage of Teachable is that they have a live support, as I mentioned before. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that Teachable is actually the more popular platform by far. We can see the traffic stats here. If we click on the traffic stats, that will take us to similar web. And we can see that monthly, Teachable gets about 60 million visits versus 6 million visits on Thinkific. So more people use it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's better. It just means that it's more popular. I would also say that it's slightly easier to use just because of the mere fact that it has considerably less features to worry about than Thinkific. Now, I personally use Thinkific because I really like the customization tools. I really like their course creation tools. I originally, one of the main reasons was because their, their free plan is considerably better than Teachable's free plan because you can create up to three courses for free and it has, has unlimited students. So if you want to test a platform, getting it started with Thinkific, it just happens to be a lot easier. And that's it. I'm sure this tool will help you make the best possible decision between Teachable or Thinkific. Now, if you want to learn how to create your first course on Thinkific, make sure to check this video here. Yes, it's a full tutorial on how to create your first online school in Thinkific and publish your first course. And stick around for more tutorials, including on how to create your first course on Teachable as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.